Hi, my name is James Shepard, and today I want to share with you two sales habits that will change your life. Now, I realize that that's a pretty big title, and I don't really like to use, uh, you know, uh, clickbait, things like that, where I'm trying to just make this big title. It's going to get you to click on it. I genuinely believe that these two sales habits will not only change your, the path of your sales career, but they're actually going to change your life. I mean, these are huge, huge things I'm going to share with you today. They're very, very simple to understand, but they're extremely difficult to implement and execute. So sales habit number one that you can implement is to always be listening to a sales audio program or an, you know, a sales book of some kind while you're in the car. Okay. So let me explain what a lot of salespeople do that is incredibly stupid and costs them a fortune. What they do is they get in their car in the morning, they're going to go to their first sales appointment. What do they do? They turn on talk radio. Okay, they turn on you know the news. Well, I, I'm going to tell you something. Um, listen to the news and see how much of it is positive and exciting and getting you pumped up versus how much of it is negative and making you feel like the world is going to fall apart. Okay, if you get to your first appointment after 20 minutes of that, you're not going to make any sales. Okay, uh, if you're on talk radio, well, then you're going to get all fired up about whatever political beliefs that you have, and then you're going to walk in the door and you're going to be angry and upset, and you know, <laughs> you're going to be angry at somebody. Um, okay, that's not good. All right, instead, what you need to do is you need to always be listening to sales books and sales audio programs. Now, again, um, you know, this sounds really simple, so let me ask you a question What sales book are you reading right now? What sales strategies have you learned and implemented in the last week? I mean, think about that. In the last six months, six months, half of a year, how many sales books and sales programs have you gone through? If the answer to that question is zero, you're going to fail. So you can let that sink in. You're going to fail. All right? This is a career path. This is something that is very difficult and challenging. If you want to be successful, you need to learn your craft. You need to be reading books. You need to be listening to audio programs. You need to understand what you're doing. Otherwise, unless you have some just natural gift in sales, uh, you are going to fail. You have to be learning. And the other thing is too, as you're listening to these audio programs, I'm thinking of one right now by Brian Tracy called Mastering the Art of Closing. Mastering the Art of Closing. I think it's an eight or nine hour uh, audio program. I've listened to it uh, probably 10 times. And every time I listen to that, it motivates me. Now, here's the thing. I don't agree with everything in that audio program. Uh, for instance, I'll give you a specific example. Um, I am all about assumptive closing strategies that are very smooth and kind of flow with the sales process. Brian Tracy is about more of the gimmicky type closes where he tells you the Ben Franklin close and all these different things. Um, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's very effective anymore. But you know what? Who cares? That book is amazing and it, it encourages me every time I read it because it motivates me to live a different kind of life um, and to be disciplined. And so there's so much good in that book. I think about uh, Brian Hopkins or Brian Hopkins, uh, uh, I forgot his name all of a sudden. Hopkins, Tom Hopkins, there we go. Tom Hopkins has a bunch of great resources. Mastering the Art of Selling is a little green paperback book. Um, it's also a 45 minute audio program. It's like the short and condensed version. Uh, and it is incredible. I've listened to that thing a hundred times. Um, I love that. It has talks about tie downs, porcupine questions, um, just all kinds of great sales techniques. So when I listen to a program like that, and then I pull up in front of a prospect, guess what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about how can I sell? How can I do better at my job? How can I become a better sales professional? And so I'm thinking about that. That's what I want to be thinking about when I walk in to talk to a prospect. Okay. So number one sales habit that will change your life is constantly when you're in the car and even when you're not in the car, taking time to read books, but especially when you're driving around, listen to sales audio programs, sales audio books. Um, I use audible.com. Um, audible has a great mobile app that I use and I have a listen to books in there constantly. So that's number one. Number two, the number two sales habit is a little harder for me to kind of quantify and explain exactly how to do this. But the number two sales habit is to stop thinking and to just act when you're prospecting. Stop thinking and just act when you're prospecting. Now, I'm gonna do my best to explain this one. It's a little bit more uh, complicated for me to explain, okay? But let me explain the difference between a terrible salesperson and an amazing salesperson. A terrible salesperson, when they go out, let's say that you pull up to a mini mall. This is a good example, I've done this many times. You pull up to a mini mall and you're, you're like, okay, I'm gonna go prospecting this mini mall for, uh, for payroll services or whatever. So you pull up there, so you go to the first business and you think, Oh boy, I don't know if they have very many employees in there. And for payroll processing, you need to have a lot of employees. So 
I don't know if I'm going to go into that one. I think I'll skip and go to the next one. Then you walk to the next one, you look at it and say, you know, I, look, I think they're probably corporate. They probably have a payroll provider that does that. So I think I'm going to skip that one. You, go, you know, well, next thing you know, you walked into one business out of the entire mini mall and they said no. And you're like, oh boy, this area is just terrible. No. Well, here's what a really good salesperson does. In almost the same amount of time that it took you to make excuses as to why you're not going to walk into like 90% of the businesses or even half of them or whatever, the best salespeople, they've already walked in. And guess what? If you walk in and it's not a good prospect, you know what they're going to say? They're going to say no. And then you walk out and you go to the next one. It takes the same amount of time to walk in and do that. Uh, I cannot tell you how many sales I've had. Uh, a really good example of this, um, a sale that I'm still working on that's a larger one. I mentioned it uh, recently, I think. I'm trying to get the Subway uh, uh, stores in our area. Now, I decided I was going to go prospecting in this mini mall. There was a Subway. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, Subway, really? I'm not going to sell Subway. They probably have some big contract with some mega, you know, with first data corporate or something, you know. Um, but I just was like, I don't, I don't care. I don't think about that. I just go in. You just walk in, right? I just walked in. Hey, um, um, hi, hi, my name is James Shepard. Um, I have a local business here. I do credit card processing. Um, I have no idea if you guys are corporate, if you're local, regional. Um, who would make the decision about the credit card processing? And they said, oh, you know what, that's handled at our corporate office. And I was like, oh, sure, of course it is, you know. And I'm like, oh, okay, and where is that at? And they're like, um, it's across town. I'm like, oh, like not the Subway corporate office, like their corporate office. Turns out there's a lady who owns like, you know, 15 Subways in this area. So I'm working on that. She makes the decision for that. So deals like that will come to you when you just walk in. Okay, same thing when you're on the phone. You've got a big list of people to call. Let me give you a great sales habit you can form. Call them. Okay, the research you're going to do on them is going to be while the phone is ringing. So you just pick up the phone and call them. And when you're done with that conversation, you hang up, you pick up the phone, you dial the next one. You hang up, you pick up the phone, you dial the next one. You don't think about it. You don't qualify it. You don't prioritize it. You just do it. Okay, so two sales habits that I am confident will absolutely change your life because your income is going to be so dramatically affected by it is number one, always be reading a sales book. And that's going to have an impact not just on your sales career, but you're going to learn things that are going to impact your life in a big way. And secondly, just take action. Okay, when you're out prospecting, say, I've got two hours to prospect, whether it's on the phone or in person, just do it. Go, 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 go. Next one, next one, next one, next one. Stop thinking about it. Stop prioritizing. Stop making excuses. Just walk into the business and you'll find out that your income and your life is going to be dramatically changed. My name is James Shepard. Thanks for listening.